Hey guys, this is Adam at Burns Cadillac Chevrolet in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Today we're going to take a brief, very brief tour of a 2017 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. Now you guys know that the S10 had a ZR2 version, um, so if you've been up to date, you realize this truck's been in the work for quite a while. Um, and it has garnered quite a bit of attention uh, for the simple fact I think and I hope it's going to rival uh, what the Jeep has to offer uh, for a true off-road vehicle. Um, now, I'm not the technical one when it comes to knowing all the suspension levels um, and the different things, the multi-dampening suspensions and stuff like that, but I do know and I've had the um, opportunity to take this vehicle off-road, not this particular one, um, so I can attest to the fact that it does do some pretty amazing things. As you, if you've been looking at this truck for a while, you do know that this one is wider and higher than the standard Colorado. Um, it is outfitted for um, outfitted for off-roading. So you notice it does have the skid plates underneath it. Um, it's got some tow hooks in the front, just like the other ones do. Uh, the grill is a little bit more aggressive looking. A different um, hood scoop that is functional. Um, it's not just there uh, for looks. It's got a different offset of tires. Um, the rim's a little different. Now this particular package has a uh, black set of wheels on it. Not all come with it. I will show you one that does. Um, you notice how the suspension is way different in this car. It's a truck, I should say. <laughs> you also notice it doesn't have a traditional style running board. Across the back it does have performance. Um, the sun's going to help me a little bit, but it's also going to hinder it, so just bear with me. And here's where I was talking about the suspensions uh, for the back. And you'll see that that is pretty awesome there. You don't see those very often. I mean, very often. ZR2, of course, in, on the back uh, quarter. Back of the tailgate looks pretty much the same. Now, this particular one we added the uh tire carrier in the back and here's what it's talking about this is the standard looking uh rim uh, for this particular truck and this is braced in if you don't like it of course you can unbolt it um but most people if they're going to take it off roading uh they're going to want to have this as a uh as an option here now, I'll go to the back seat, just be real quick. All ZR2s do come standard with leather seating. Um, it's not that way on the traditional Colorado. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to show you too, is the fender flares. Now, you can get those on a regular Colorado, I know, but um, this comes standard on it. ZR2 badging on the inside. Of course, four-wheel drive, trailer and brake. Leather seats in the front. Um, this is not a true walk around, guys. I'm just trying to give you a brief tour of it. Um, you notice that on this particular one, of course, you have the locking differentials uh, for multiple um, areas, front and back. Traction control, trailer and brake, uh, the cruise control and gauge for downhill, and of course, the cargo lamp uh, for the back. This truck is going to sell a lot, in my opinion. Um, for the folks that are looking for a true off-road truck and this one has everything You could ever imagine and want if you have any questions, please let me know again. This is not a true walk around on this vehicle um, I'll be glad to do anything for you Just let me know reach out to me on YouTube or find us at Burns Cadillac Chevrolet in Rock Hill, South Carolina